boys and girls, it's Miss Margaret again, and I am not making a salad today. I'm going to show you how to make these cookies. They're made with a secret ingredient, and I will show it to you in just a minute. You can make these almost without help from your mom and dad, except when you have to bake them. So I'm gonna start with three quarters cup of butter. And I buy these little sticks, so each one is four tablespoons. So four, eight, 12 tablespoons of butter. I'm going to use just a little bit of sugar. It calls for one half a cup. So I am going to use my one half cup of sugar. I did wash my hands before we started. Miss Jessica saw that. And I'm going to mix this up with the secret ingredient, which is J-E-L-L-O, Jello. Now I used, as you can see, red Jello and green Jello to make those cookies. So today I'm using yellow because it makes me happy, makes me think of sunshine. And you put the whole package of Jello in. It's the little package, you don't want that huge package. And I'm gonna mix this together. I'm going to cream it together. some yellow food coloring to make them, it's already yellow, but I want it to be even more yellow. So I'm just gonna put a couple of drops. So that it makes it even brighter yellow, because then that makes it fun. The next thing I want it wants us to do is to add two eggs. So here's one. I'm just going to throw it in the sink and I'm going to beat it up. And then I'll add the second one. as you can see. I'm going to wipe down the sides with my spoonula. That's what this is called. It's like a spatula and a spoon together. And I'm going to eat it one more time. Okay. All right, now the next part is I'm going to put my flour my salt, flour, salt, and baking powder all in another little bowl so that then I can add it to my cookies. So let me just get another little bowl. I wasn't thinking. I should have had that ready. All right, and it calls for one teaspoon of salt, which to me seems like a lot, but I'll follow the directions. One teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Now, the first time I made it, I said, thought it said half a teaspoon, but it actually says one and a half. So that's quite a bit. 
That's why if you look at my red and green cookies, the green ones are bigger because I didn't put as much baking powder in. There's the baking powder. And then it calls for two and a half cups of flour. So here's my half cup. I've had so much fun baking this winter. I baked like eight different kinds of cookies. And it was so much fun. Half a cup and now two cups. You notice I just level it off. I'm not tapping it down. I'm just leveling it off. That's one. The half's already in there. There's two. Okay. And that's all the ingredients. That's hardly any. And then I'm just going to stir it up to make sure that the baking powder and salt get mixed in with the flour. Now the only thing, you're not gonna be able to see me bake these today because you have to put them in the refrigerator overnight. So we're just gonna mix these up and then I'll show you what you have to do. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of flour and bit of flour in. And then I'm going to use the spatula to kind of get this off of the beaters. And then I'll show you what you have to do next. So this is something you could make the night before and then bake on the next day. Okay. All right, so you can see this is what it looks like. I am going to put out some waxed paper. I'm gonna put two pieces out because I'm going to make it into two rolls. Now, when I made these, I rolled them, I made my roll, and then I rolled the roll in colored sugar so that the red ones have green, and the green ones have the red, so they look Christmassy. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna gather up like half of this dough, and I'm going to just start mushing it together like Play-Doh. And I'm gonna kind of just start making it into a log. I want it to be, I don't want them to be too small, but I want them to have a nice flavor. I want them to be nice and big. And so then I'm just gonna take it and kind of roll it a little bit more on the wax paper to make it kind of long and skinny. And these will make almost four dozen. You will be surprised how many these make. Okay, so there's one. And if you wanted to put sprinkles, you could put sprinkles. Maybe I'll do that on the next one so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, and then I'm just going to roll it. And close the ends. 
And then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator just like that till tomorrow. So that they uh, then, let me finish, get this one ready. Miss Jessica, do you think I should put some sprinkles on this one? Absolutely. Okay. Sprinkles are always fun. But multicolored sprinkles, you think that would look pretty? Yep. Okay. All right, so I'm gathering all the rest of this dough. And I'm just going to put it on here on this wax paper. And I'm going to roll this across it. Just like this, because I want it to get lots of little sprinkles. Oh, there's a place where there's not many. Let me put some there. One can never have too many sprinkles, if you ask me. Okay. Okay, so after you refrigerate it overnight, then it would be, it'll come out of the refrigerator and it'll be looking like this. Let me move this out of the way. So what I'm going to, what I would do then is I would take a knife, a sharp knife, and cut it into pieces. Just go along like this, cut it, cut it all the way along. And put it on, um, I used parchment paper. I lined my pan with parchment paper. And baked it for, let me see what the recipe says, because I have the recipe right here. And I think I'll type this up onto a sheet and give it to Miss Jessica. Bake it at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. If you don't have parchment paper, you can just lightly spray the pan and they come off very easily. So you can see I'm rolling this up now. And these two will go in the refrigerator, one with sprinkles, one without. Now, this has a lemony flavor. So you could ice them if you wanted to with maybe a little lemon juice and baking and powdered sugar, but these are sweet and tasty just like that because I did have a taste of one after they baked before. So that's all I have. I will bake these up and I think I will try and bring them to church and give them to Miss Jackie to bring upstairs to you guys when the when we start Sunday school again. How's that? Then you can have the treat of what I made and you can try them yourself. All right, have a good day. Have fun, whatever you're doing. Bye.